What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members, welcome back. To my new members, welcome to the channel. Before we do start, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell. Make sure to really hit the subscribe button as we're almost approaching at 4,000 subscribers. I really would appreciate it. Also, don't forget, I have a membership program that you definitely want to join so you can get behind the scenes footage on my content and you could join me on a private live stream. But without further ado, let's start today's episode. So there is a character in the Kenobi series or from the series that they did kind of hint at and it sets up an incredible exciting story that could definitely be something they can tackle in season two. Now from Obi-Wan episode three we saw the Jedi Master discover a hidden path that allowed Order 66 survivors to flee from the Empire. He sees names etched into the wall and it's surprised to realize that we see none other than Quinlan was here. This moment is profound because it reveals that Quinlan survived Order 66, as had been teased but not confirmed in the comics and was working with the Rebellion. This was surely a meaningful moment for Obi-Wan, although Obi-Wan rejects an alliance with a Jedi rebel at the beginning of the show, it must have been a comfort and a boost of hope when another survivor emerged, particularly one he knew. Now, the book Star Wars 100 Objects, written by Kristen Baver, elaborates upon this reveal. The book explains that Quinlan played much more than just a small role in helping the rebels. One of the things that was said in the book is the maverick Jedi Quinlan Voss, who helped smuggle younglings to freedom, also used this network. He had been boldly left his name so that others in a similar situation might recognize it and be comforted. Voss's act of defiance was a moral boosting signal to remain hopeful despite the dangerous times ahead. It was also a defiant recognition that he, like many of those following after, would soon be shedding his old identity and going into hiding. Now this information comes as a bit of shock given the complex history of Quinlan Voss had throughout the Star Wars trilogy, meaning during the Clone Wars as well. Now, the reveal that Quinlan became such a hero means that his story must be told, particularly given that his fate during the Imperial Age is very unclear. Beyond a reference in 100 Objects, it would be a great service to the character to represent those actions on screen. Moreover, the quote from the book gets at a fascinating Star Wars concept that has yet to be fully explored, Maverick Jedi. The most notable Maverick Jedi was that of Qui-Gon Jinn, who was similarly unconventional and even critical of the Jedi. Quinlan having even tapped into the dark, who would offer a captivating portrayal of that concept should Star Wars elect to build on his story. And like I said, we've seen him in the Clone Wars, we've seen him in the novelization of Dark Disciple when Asajj Ventress falls at the hands of Count Dooku. So there is a lot of content about Quinlan Voss, but just not much after Order 66. And I think that that's something that the Kenobi series season two, if they ever go that route, or if they even do a spin-off series, it could be that they tell his story and it finally gets a true ending that he definitely deserves as he is one of my favorite Jedi and one of my favorite characters in the Star Wars trilogy. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video, guys. For more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars as we're fast approaching as well to 4,000 subscribers. Don't forget to join that membership program and go check out my merch as you see it down below in the description area. Also, make sure to comment on today's video where I'll catch you guys later today.